When comedian Ricky Gervais was asked who the funniest man in Britain is, he answered Carl Pilkington. Pilkington has worked with him on his radio show and on a series of downloadable podcasts that have been listened to by millions. But who is he? Here's David Ferrier. Has, uh, has everyone heard of Carl Pilkington? Yeah. A bit... yeah. He's my producer on my radio show. I'll just quickly, but for those who haven't heard of him, um, he's a guy, talking about attitudes, he's a man whose attitude hasn't changed from about the age of five. This is the man Ricky Gervais can't stop talking about, Cal Pilkington. His podcast with Ricky are downloaded over 250,000 times per week. Listeners unable to get enough of Cal's thoughts on everything from squirrels to sex. People make a big thing out of, you know, having it away for the first time. And they go, oh, I'm going to do that tonight. Not the way to do anything. You won't get anything done by planning. <laughs> That's a quote! <laughs> Carl wanted to meet in Hyde Park, as he loves nature and is close to his house. I mean, we thought we'd get 20,000 people or something, you know, worldwide. So when it got into, like, millions, it's just like, what's going on? If we'd have done it, say, in 1988 and we brought mm. them out on C90 cassettes, no one would have been interested. It's just that... Oh, oh, downloading, it's, it's like the thing Instant. to do, isn't boom, it? Boom, boom. You know, the iPod, oh, let's, I need something to listen to. And I think that's it, I think it was all timing. I, mean, I, I brought nothing to it. I, I was just there at the right time. I was, I was kind of like the, the wise men to Jesus, yeah. you know, just happened to be there. According to Gervais, Carl is not a wise man. A great deal of the podcast involves Gervais insulting Pilkington, who left school early and never made it to university. So please meet Carl Pilkington. All right. All right? Yeah. Good, yeah. Look at this little roundy, baldy, manky head. Are you getting that, yeah? <laughs> the two of them are inseparable. Fans of Gervais's shows always keeping an eye out for Cal's cameos. Don't we sign that? No, you're all right, mate. Cheers. But at the end of the day, it's his thoughts, or lack of them, which have made him famous. You can ask him anything and he's got an opinion on it. It's usually... It were rubbish. Yeah, kiwi. Kiwi bird. See, by rights, it shouldn't be around anymore, should it? If it's not, mm. you know, it's sleeping all day, so it's bone idle. It's, you can't eat it. It's got wings mm. that don't work. It's a write-off. Get rid of it. I'd say get rid of it. If we got rid of the kiwi, how mm. would the world change? Mm. They say, like, if all the bees go, the population mm. would die out in three years. Right, just because of the, the complex ecosystem. Just because of what they do, they're busy. They're busy mm. bee. Uh, kiwi... I mean, if it's asleep all day, don't even mm. wake it up. It's thoughts like these that have found an audience and even allowed Cal to write the odd book. So you can just bring anything out. And, like, my mum bought a, a gnome that whistles. When you walk past it, it whistles. Now, if that was brought out in about 1936, people would go, put it in the bin, and that would be the end of it. Whereas now, bring anything out, and if only 1% of the world go... Mm. After a gnome that whistles, mm. you'll do all right. That'll be a big money-making thing. And I think that's what we've done, you know, with, with the audio book. The audio book that made it into the Guinness Book of Records for most downloaded podcast of all time. Once, they even got feedback from an Eskimo. The well, that's one. incredible. Yeah, that's been the one that's always sort of stuck with me. I mean, Ricky sort of said, oh, we've got loads of, you know, David Bowie listens to it and people who make The Simpsons like it and you know, all these Hollywood actors. But for me, it's still that Eskimo. I just can't imagine. But then again, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a trapped... You know, he's, he's probably not got much to do, has he, over there? What did he, he have just, to say? What he was... just sort of said hello, just to let you know, you know, I'm, I'm listening. Along with millions of others, a pretty good outcome for a man whose mantra is that you don't get anything done by planning. If you don't have a plan, you can end up doing some interesting things, can't you?